I am. I have my Indian headdress on today, and the new town has his Indian headdress on too. You know what we're going to do today? We're going to make an Indian shirt. And you know what we can make it out of? We can make it out of a paper bag that maybe your mother's dress comes back from the cleaners in, or maybe your father's suit will come back to the cleaners. And if you don't have one right now, well maybe you can ask your mother to save the next one that she gets, and then you can just watch what's going on here today. And then when you get a paper bag, you can make one all by yourself. I have one here that I've already made, and I'll stand up and show it to you. See, this is part of the bag, and I've cut out a hole in the top, and this is where my head fits through, and it fits on just like this. And then there's some holes in the sides here with all kinds of fringe around it, and my arms come out at the sides, and it's fringed down here at the bottom too, see? And then there's a necklace around here, and all sorts of Indian designs all over the paper bag. And you can look at some of the designs, and you can make up some of your own, and you can use color crayons to put the designs on there with. There's so very many things that you can do with this paper bag. But first of all, I'll show you what the paper bag looks like when you get it from the cleaners. And I have one laying right here on the table. This is it right here. See how big it is? There's a little hole right here in the top that the hanger comes up to when things are hanging on the inside of it. But look how long it is. It goes all the way down to the floor. And we don't want it to be that long, so we have to cut it out. And so we know where to cut this bag off, we can hold it up right like this. So this corner here is held up right to our shoulder, and then with a pencil or a crayon, we reach down just as far as we can, and we make a line down here on the paper bag. See like that? And then we take the scissors and cut it off. Let's come back over here to the table now and cut off the extra part on this paper bag. I don't even think I need to draw a line. I have a mark on the bag here, so I'll just cut right down. As straight as I can, and it doesn't really make any difference if this line is very straight or not. And then when you cut off this bottom part, then be sure to take it. And if you don't put it in the waste paper basket right now, then later, when you're finished with your work, be sure that you put all the scraps right in the waste paper basket like that so your mother won't have to stop and pick up at you. Now, let's hold it up again and see if it's going to be the right size. Oh, I think that's much better. It's not quite so long. You could make it shorter, or if you wanted to make it as a whole thing, you could do that too. But now comes the part of cutting out the place that we can put our head through in the top of the sack and cutting out the armholes and drawing all sorts of designs on the paper sack for our, for our shirt, our Indian shirt. And right up here is where we want to make the hole to put our head through. There's a little tiny hole there already, you know. But we have to measure out because if we made a great big hole, we put it over our head and it'd slip right off over our shoulders, wouldn't it? So we have to measure and see just about how big our head is. And really the easiest way of doing that would be to put your finger right in the very center of the sack and then lay your head right down on it and make a mark on one side and then a mark on the other side. And that's just exactly what I'm going to do right now. There. See, put my head down and I made a line on this side and I'm going to put it right up here at the top. Just pretend that I'm drawing it all the way up. Make a mark there, and then I'm going to make a mark over here. And then I'm going to draw a circle, or part of a circle, from the end of these little marks, right over to the very edge of the paper. Just like that, see? And then we can cut that off with the scissors. And that will be the hole that we put our head to, the neck of the Indian shirt. See, now I can stick two of my hands right down in there and I have a great big hole in it, haven't I? Well, then we have to worry about the sleeves. And the sleeves, 
Well, you know, sorry, maybe your shirt doesn't have any sleeves in it. It just quits right there. Well, that's what this Indian shirt's going to do, too. But we want to draw some lines right over here, first on one edge and then on the other. About as long as you think a sleeve should be. And we'll draw it in just like this. And then we'll do exactly the same thing over here on the other side. And then we can snip down the edge of the paper bag until we have this small little piece cut out. Let's do that right now. We just cut just a little tiny bit off over here. We don't want to cut too much more because we're going to put some fringe over here. You know what fringe is? Fringe, all the little pieces of paper or the Indian, it would have been pieces of skin that hang down and we can make that fringe just by taking our scissors and cutting a lot of little strips. And we cut all these strips until it gets down to the end of the line. See how the fringe is? It just sticks all over. And it cuts right through, but still there's an open space there. And that's where our arm comes out, see? Now then, while we're right over here, there's something else that we want to do, too. In order to make it easier for us to get our Indian shirt on and off, we want to take our scissors and slip them right inside the sack like this and then cut part way down, maybe six little snips down the side. Not all the way to the bottom, but it opens it up just enough so that we can get into it and out of it much easier. So now let's go over to the other side and fringe the other sleeve and make the slip down the side the same way. Just take the scissors and make some cuts in here and put the fringe all along the sleeve too. You know, the Indians didn't make their clothes out of paper bags. And they really, some, well, sometimes they had material, but most of the time, some of the Indians made their clothes out of animal skins. Sometimes they had deer skins and bear skins and even buffalo skins. And they worked the leather and rubbed it until it was very soft. And then they sewed it together with pieces of strong grass and fibers that they found. Now I'm going to snip this down the side here. About six snips. So that it will be easy to get in and out of. There we are. Now what we're doing some fringing. Shall we fringe the bottom of it too? We do it in exactly the same way. Just pull the paper bag up, slide around like this, and go all the way across the bottom with all sorts of fringes. You can just take one snip with your scissors, or you can make two or three at a time like this and have great big long fringes on the end. And then later on, you might want to take all of your colors and color each piece, each little strip down here, each piece of fringe a different color. Red and blue and yellow and green and maybe even black and white and pink and purple. You know, Indian clothing usually was very colorful. Sometimes they had to soak it in some type of sort of a watery solution to make it a different color. Sometimes they had red and sometimes they had blue. And all of these colors, you know, they couldn't go to the store and buy. They had to find them growing right out in the forest or in the plains or wherever it was that the Indians lived. Let's hurry on. I'll get all of this cut across the bottom. So we have a bottom row of fringe on our little Indian shirt. And then we'll want to put some design around the top. There. See? Fringe for the sleeve and fringe down here at the bottom. Now let's think up a design to put on. I'm going to open up my color crayon. Dump them right out in the middle. There we go. And I'll put them over here at this side. Now let's see. Sometimes the Indians wore a great big necklace around their neck. Let's draw a necklace on here. Put a line right around it like that. That'll be the piece of rope or string. Or maybe it's even a narrow strip of skin that's been cut so they could tie it around their neck. And when the string is around there, then they took and they tied some little strings. And these little strings hung off the great big string, just like this. And then on the end of each of these pieces of string,
string, they hung some sort of a little ornament. Whether it was a piece of metal that they had found, or a pretty colored rock, or sometimes it was even the tooth from a bear, or a buffalo, or a deer. So I'm going to put some teeth around on this necklace. You know, the teeth, we can make them different colors, but usually the teeth that the Indians wore around their necks would be pretty white because you know that they're very nice and pretty. Well, let's put some stones over here, too. Just some funny shaped stones that they could tie on. Maybe some of the stones, whoops, broke the crayon. I just hate to break crayons, don't you? But we can still use little pieces. Maybe just some of the stones were funny looking like that, I suppose. And maybe there was another big funny looking stone hanging over here. Maybe it had some lines through it too. And one over there. Here. And up there. And we just about have the necklace on this Indian shirt dress finished. Put another tooth over here like that. Now then. We have our little Indian shirt dress that's made out of this paper bag and we, we cut the hole in the top that our head can go right through and all the fringe over here at the side. And then we want to put some more Indian designs right here in the very center of it. But what should we make the design from? Should we have it tell a story maybe? All right, let's tell a story with our colors and crayons just like the Indians might have done. What kind of a story should we tell? Well, what kind of a day should the story have been told on? A sunshining day? All right, sunshining day. Then we want to draw a great big picture of the sun. And this is how the Indians made their pictures too and, and wrote things down was by making pictures of them. So here is this great big sun down here. That, and then on this very bright day, maybe the person who was writing the story went hunting and they went up a great big hill and after they walked up this great big hill they came to a forest on the other side and so here's the trees growing you can pretend that these trees are a forest see and then in the forest they found a deer and they shot the deer so now we have a story on our dress, too. Well, we can put lots and lots of Indian designs on our Indian shirt. We can put bands around the sleeves and around the bottom. But let's put it on right now and see how it fits, shall we? Better take my headdress off, put it here on the table, and then I can flip it right down over my head. Have to be careful. Oh, I think you know what? I think I'm going to have to have somebody help me put this on. And you'll probably have to have somebody help you put yours on, too. But I'll hold it up and show you what it looks like. See where the arms come out of the sides and all the pretty fringe around there? And if all the fringe was colored, it would make it even prettier still, wouldn't it? Well, if you get a paper bag tomorrow or the next day, you make one of these dresses. It's a lot of fun. I wonder if Stacy Sam would like to see.